Welcome to Atomic Heart. Let's jump into it. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So subscribe! With, uh, with this game, I'm really not sure what's going on. Oh, wow. I really love this place. Good vibes. Good the vibes! Chile complex was built what is happening? To be the ideal comfortable workplace. Mechanic glove. I've been here before. So the glove talks. Wow, this place looks... A robot? Oh, I don't. I have no idea what's going on. I have no clue what this game is about. What is that? Hello? Uh, sure. Sure, thanks. Sure, thanks. Yeah, thank you. A gulp? A gulp? Thank you. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. Oh. Still working on the robot's navigation systems. Yeah, I noticed. Okay, so my name is P3, and my wow. glove's name We're is Comp, uh, today. Charles? Code 0451. Oh, 0451. Let's remember that. 0451. Oh, no. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. Uh, hello, Dr. Sechenov. Sechenov. How do you like the new glove? <laughs> Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Okay. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. I'll keep it safe, the sure. Lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. All right, Mikhail. Touch later. Roger that. All right, we need to head to that place that he's just said. Wow, is what I gotta say. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off yes. the case already. I'm pleased to hear you. We're going to the laboratory. For once. No, we're good. You dickhead. All right, let's get off here. We need to head to the uh, the laboratory. I hope it gives me waypoints. Oh man, you know what this reminds me of? Bioshock Infinite. Oh good, it does give me waypoints. Okay, I could zoom in with left click or right click. I mean, hi. Oh my gosh, are they running? They're dancing! Okay, I think I gotta go this way. I wonder what's happening over there. Oh, there's a speech. Okay, hello. Oh gosh. Oof. <laughs> I am so curious as to what's going on. Oh, I gotta go this way. What? Could I walk in the water? Please tell me I can. Oh, they don't let me. I wanted to go splish splash and I was taking a bath. You know what I mean? Hi! Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Thank Today you. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal oh, project I see. of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want. A university oh, wow. level natural sciences curriculum, for example. And you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Wow. Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. That's yeah, some yeah, crazy yeah, science. Done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse what? Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. This one? Damn. Oh, whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh! How smart am I now? Am I smart now? <laughs> am I smart you now? just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. Okay, so to the glove can the scanner, see? Just make a special gesture. Uh-huh. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. 
The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers okay. on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Like this? Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to yeah. activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? <laughs> oh, the other hand. Activate the scanner by pressing left? Alt? What the hell? That I feel like that might come in handy. Demon, be gone. What the heck? For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the Is that a, a highly friendly? Is someone you're, th you're throwing someone the L. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the Oh future. yeah, I feel like this might be very useful. All right, okay. That was interesting. Oh, wow. Address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov. Sechenov. Interesting. I am Dimitri Sechenov. Oh, man. Oh, there he is up there. What is happening? L. <laughs> Just throw up the L. Step away from an amazing evolutionary wow. to the lobby of that higher of Thank you very much. Thank you, Charles. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. They okay. Left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, that's a leak. They left the code with one of the security guards. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just wow. So nice. Yeah, the oh, architecture here is kind of nuts. And then, is this real reflections or is this a fake reflection? Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't realize you could see my feet. This is crazy. I have no clue what's going on, but it's absolutely insane. Here's the office. Hello. Oh my gosh. Talk about style. Whoa. Science is power. I tell you. Wow. Look at this place. Down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts Whoa. up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. Thank you. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the Thank you. Oh, Thanks, boy. Einstein. Are they filming something over there? All right. Get to the turbine. Section off here. Hello. Sorry, I can't meet with you in person, my boy. Uh huh. The reporters have been like hounding me all day. Yeah. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. Yeah. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a yeah. dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Uh huh. Men sworn to defend mankind and so its I'm defending this guy's. You need to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the oh, lab. Oh, okay. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there Tereshkova and robot. take okay. you to the Vavilov complex. All right. Understood. Yes, sir. Yep. I'm getting in the car right now. So we need to get, we need to upgrade my glove even more, even though I took something that like upgraded me. All right. Oh, do I get to drive? Please tell me I get to drive. Oh, oh, interesting. All right. Oh, please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Wait, what do you do? Are they gonna is I don't have to drive? Yes, I don't have to drive! Dude, look at this. I don't even I don't have to drive. That's the best. How about some music? Yes, please, some music. That's more like it. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Probably have to mute the music, but... Whoa. Yeah. Charles, you talk too much. Listen. I'm amazed by just the sheer look of this place. Oh, we're going into a cloud? What's happening? Oh! Oh! Oh, we're descending. I can feel it. Oh, wow, what is happening? Hi! Alright. Holy crap, look at this freaking landscape, man. Nice. Hey, this this is crazy, bro. Whoa! Major, the drove is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Wait, wait, what? What am I supposed to do about it? What's up? Whoa! Shit! Why are they trying to fight me? Oh, no, that's not good. Hang on tight. Bumblebee, I think they called him. Oh! Wow! What the heck? Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. Yes, thank you. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh my! What the hell are you doing, lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. Yeah, I agree. Oh no, this isn't good. Fuck off, bitch. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hang on tight. Oh my! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to. Son of a bitch, not again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh. Help me, comrade major. I'm falling. What the shit? <laughs> what is happening? Whoa! Hang on tight, 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 hang on tight. Oh my gosh. I can't imagine that feeling. That feeling was like Atomic Heart. That was just the entrance. The intro. Wow. I'm interested. <laughs>